Welcome to Drive Like Shana's YouTube channel and I'm Shana. Today we're going to look at top 5 favourite cars for the Indian enthusiasts all under the 90 lakh budget. So let's get into it. Starting with India's favourite car and I'm sure you already know what I'm going to say. This is the Skoda VRS245 something something something. Now this latest generation of the car is quite a top favourite for the Indian tuner market as well. It's got 241 horsepower if you may and 245 PS of power and it's got four doors, a nice boot, really practical with Skoda's completely impractical serviceability as well which all this means that you can actually get a good car for about 35 lakhs which is not a bad price considering you can do a lot of tuning stuff to it probably take it up another 100 horsepower and you'll give the sports cars and possibly the supercars a run for their money a lot of possibilities for suspension upgrades, gearbox upgrades Speaking of which, the DST gearbox actually is pretty phenomenal and that's actually what makes this car go as fast as it does because those gear shifts are pretty damn quick. Nice colour choices as well, I like this particular one in green, I think that would be my favourite. But moving on to the next car from this list is going to be the Mini JCW. Coming to my favourite hot hatch, although this is not the end of the list, I love it. This is the British Mini Cooper JCW. Now, my personal favourite, however, wouldn't probably be the JCW because that's a pretty intense car. It would just be the Cooper S, which does all of the above with a lot more comfort. It's a front-wheel drive car with a really nice gearbox, about 228 horsepower, good pocket rocket, fantastic the go-kart handling as they traditionally call it, which I think it's pretty awesome either way, so you don't really need a JCW car. Besides that, the only thing that I would say is not that fast of a car unless you probably tune it and give it a proper boost. The front wheel drive might be a bit of a letdown for people who want a rear wheel drive or all wheel drive feel. But nevertheless, you can actually feel a bit of a torque steer and things with this car after you tune it. And I would say it's probably one of my top favorite cars also because I secretly own one. And which also means that I've enjoyed this car so much across the country and it doesn't hit anywhere. It's got fantastic ground clearance. You don't hit these mountain-sized road humps or the portals India has to offer. It's got a portal that's big enough. That car actually goes in and comes back out the other side. Coming in next from the Mercedes stable is the AMG A35 sedan, which is the limousine version. Now, I've actually driven the uh, hatchback version of this car in Sweden, and I absolutely loved it. I love the interior layout. It's got a really nice dashboard, really nice colors, and the seats are phenomenally comfortable. It would actually be one of my most favorite cars. And if I was in college, I think that's the car that I would love to have, because it's essentially a really good college kid racer's car. You see where I'm going with this. Now, this is again a two litre, but it's actually got all wheel drive as well. Kind of like the Evo and the Subaru feel, but not really because it is German and it's a lot more fun and a lot more reliable and they don't break down. However, the downsides of it is also mean that you can't tune it much. The tuning capacities are fairly limited. You can probably do an easier tune, maybe an air filter, and that's about it. You can't push the car any further. Being Mercedes, you also have good network all across India, really practical with the four doors and the boot, just like the Skoda RS. So it's practical, fun, fast and small, what I would call one of the micro sedans because it's not really a big car, but pretty good looking, but not really on your face good looking. It's not got spoilers hanging out everywhere, fins and canards and just making it look a bit vulgar. It's actually pretty subtle and if you want to go with a proper black or maybe a silver, you'll fit in with the daily rubbish traffic that we have all around us. Next, coming through, the BMW 340X Drive something something something. My top favourite cars as well and you can see where I'm going with this, this list is kind of my top favourites but they're actually good cars, coming at a fantastic price of around 65 lakhs. But coming to the car, fantastic car, a good 340 horsepower and really tunable. I've got the same motor in my X5 and I think I've taken it to about 420 or 430. So it's pretty tunable because it's the same motor that comes in the Toyota Supra as well. And it's really playable. The drive in this car, although it is an all-wheel drive, it's more rare focused, like most BMWs. So you can go around corners with your back coming out and that's a good thing. It's also got the four doors so you can take that awful children of yours in your car. 
drop them off at school and go for that run to the racetrack because that's what it's all about as well. Now you can see what I'm doing with this entire list of mine. Most of the cars that I have are racetrack friendly. I mean, they're not race cars, but they're cars that you can use on a daily basis, shopping mall, blah, 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 pick up those kids that you forgot at school and then go to the racetrack as well. All of that comes in. Now BMW's amazing practicality, it's got a really big boot. It essentially looks more or less like an average three series sedan. So you're not really going to be pointed out on the road. You can use it as a pretty much of a sleeper car, park it where you want, and no one's going to come keying your car around. That's what I love about it. Again, with BMW, got fantastic service all around. Mm, a bit dodgy here and there, but it works. Cars are reliable, trustable, and there are no problems with the car. Now, being a Porsche car, I can't miss not having a Porsche on this list as obvious reasons. So I've chosen the 718 Boxster or the Cayman pretty much the same car, with the option of having the roof or not having the roof. A good 290 horsepower, good ground clearance as well with this car, and it's a two liter, just like most of the cars on this list as well. I really like it because it's got a really nice steering feel. It's got lots of space because you've got a trunk and a trunk, and you have tons of space inside the car as well. Really practical on the car. It is 85-ish about now, plus taxes, so not too bad. Reasonably good uh, dealership access across the States, and I would think the Boxster is the car that I would go for just to get the top off and have some fun driving around sunsets and sunrises like I like to do. Although we got the top five cars down out of the list, I just want to add my bonus car in this, which is the Jeep Wrangler. Now, I personally love it because it's just everything a Jeep is. You can take the top off, you can take the doors off, windscreen down. Gosh, you can probably remove everything else in the car as well, which is what I love about it. You can use it in the city and you can use it for off-roading. It's a good off-roader, a good two-litre motor in this car that comes in, all petrol, there are no diesel options, and it's about 270 horsepower, which means it's not going to be that fast, but it is reasonably peppy for our traffic. Speaking of, it ain't really good on the road as much as it's good off-road, especially if you get the Rubicon version, because that's got the off-road knobby off-road tyres. But if you get the Sahara version, or which is, yeah, that's it, or the unlimited version, not really sure what they call it in India, but that's the version that has road tyres on it. But that doesn't have lots of the off-road options. Nevertheless, unlike the Indian cousin, the Thar, aka, ugh, whatever, <coughs> no, no, the Thar is good, the Thar is good. It's not copied, not, 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 not at all. It's so genuine that I can't tell the difference. Now, coming back to the Jeep Wrangler, I love it. And for that price you pay, which is around 67 lakhs, X showroom, it's not a bad deal. Especially the ones that are made now with the whole Make in India concept. You get a badge in the back of your car which says Made in India. Now, that's my top five slash six favorite list of cars that you can get under 90. Now, if there's something that I've missed and something that you would like to add, please comment below. And if you've liked this video, give us some love subscribe and see what nonsense we get up to.